What's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys another unboxing video. Mystery type of box unboxing. Now, I know that you guys are very, were very excited about my uh, Versus unboxing project, right? That I was going to bring you guys here on the YouTube channel, Mystery Tackle Box versus Lucky Tackle Box. However, there have been a few technical difficulties and because of those technical difficulties, I will have to delay that Versus project for one more month since I got only one box per month, okay? If you ask me, what were those technical difficulties? Very simple, it was entirely my fault. Uh, my schedule has been extremely active, you know, I work two jobs, as you guys know, I am a private tutor daytime on the K-12 level for mathematics and physics, and I also work in a restaurant four days a week. So, you know, I have been extremely busy, plus I bring you guys contents on the channel every two days, right? That's a lot of editing, compiling, filming, and uploading, I forgot, you know, between all of those things, I forgot to change my subscription for Mystery Tackle Box from Trout to Panfish. That, that was the technical difficulty. And as you guys know, if you want to get a box at a certain type through Mystery Tackle Box, you have to change before the first of the month. I came to realize only on March 4th, that I didn't change. I did email Mystery Tackle Box, the support, and unfortunately they didn't change it for me, you know? So it is what it is. We got the Mystery Tackle Box for the month of March, the Trout Box again. <laughs> That's the unboxing for today. Uh, since I already gave you guys the expectations, right, for the Trout Box in last month's video, I am going to make this video very, very short. We're just going to unbox this video and compare if this box with last month's box and see if MTB actually improved in certain ways, if they adapted the box to be better now, okay? If you haven't watched the, the, the unboxing from last month, I recommend you to do so. All expectations and everything is there. If you have watched already, good job. You are ready for this unboxing. Let's do it. I'm curious to see what is in here too. So let's get started. I would like to remind everyone that all my unboxings are ad lib, meaning that I have no previous training or, you know, practice on the unboxings. I really don't know what is inside this box. It is sealed. And you know, my face of surprise will be really, really real, okay? This is how my unboxings work. You never know what's gonna happen in the middle of my, the, my unboxings, folks. I live in the hood. The police may knock my door. Something may happen, you know, who knows? All right, let's open this box, okay? Trout box for March. I may do a slam on this box since Trout opening day here in Pennsylvania is April 2nd. We shall see, okay? You guys can have a view of this box before I even do. Whoa, there's the about your box here, so let me remove it. Okay, so there you go. This is the box that we got here for March of 2016, Trout box. Aha, uh -huh, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Okay, so we got here the About Your Box. Let's see how many different uh, lures we have for this month. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six different lures here for the box of March, okay? Let's start. Let's see what is inside our box for this month. We got here, I'm already liking this box a lot, folks. We got here the Bevy Shed by Lucky Craft on the value of $13.99. Holy cow. This is pretty much the value of my box. I paid $13.50 for this box because I have a 12 month subscription. You know, when you get the 12 month subscription, they give you some discount. The first lure already passed the value of the whole box, all right? So that's why I love this kind of stuff, you know, is the novelty of tackle exploration. It allows me to test new things in, in waters that I'm well aware of. And you know, it's really worth it, okay? So let's look for it here. I got here the Bevy Shed from Lucky Craft, 
$1.99, okay? And it says here, crank this rattling bait with a reel and stop motion around weed edges to give predators time to catch up and strike. Let's open it up here. Bevy Shed MK2 60 SP, okay? I love how Lucky Craft Lucky Craft is one of my favorite brands. I just gotta tell you right away. And I love anything that has Japanese on it, okay? So let me open let me open the steak here, okay? And it says here Lakey Biwa Bluegill, okay? That is so cool. So this model resembles a bluegill from Lake Biwa. If you're not familiar with Lake Biwa, Google it, okay? Famous in Japan. Yeah, dude, look at this. Oh my god. The design of Lucky Craft is always so neat, fellas. Look at this, huh? Now, let me see how deep this thing dives, okay? Does it say here? Oh my goodness. Okay, depth, it dives four. Well, it suspends at six to eight. Well, there, it suspends at 42 to 46 Fahrenheit. And its depth is four to the deeps. Uh, it, it dives four to five feet, okay? Yeah, as you guys can see, right? There is a long bill right all the way here in front so of course it would dive up ouch as i said you never know what's gonna happen on my unboxing boy holy cow <laughs> i almost hurt myself man but <laughs> it weighs you know dives four to five feet okay i can definitely see myself using something like this in my deep holes right in the small creeks for a stock trout in the range of 12 to 16 inches in New Jersey, you have a few places that are a little bit deeper. Throw one of these. And the, the cool thing about this lure, of course, is that when you go for the trout, sometimes your creeks may have other species of fish, predatory species of fish, that would actually bite on something like this. And here in Pennsylvania, for example, we don't have only the stock trout, we also have a smallmouth bass in our creeks, okay? The uh, Microptilus dolomiel that would gladly take on something like this, okay? Sometimes you can actually find the small, large mouth bass, the Microptilus salmoenges, right? And other species out there, okay? So this is actually really cool. I really, really like it that I am going to use this in the future. I'm already digging this box, fella, fellas, believe me. All right, bait number two here, we got the Trout Takers by Soko Baits. $3 for a five pack. It says here that this is a new a new beige, okay, very interesting. It says here, the lively action perfectly simulates a worm and other forage that a trout love to feast on. When the bite's on, rig this one up. So there we go, we got here the Soko Baits Trout, Trout Taker, okay? Now, for us to see if this thing is truly good or not, we really have to look at the action of this thing, right? In other words, we have to see if the material is actually good. So let me take one out here to show you guys. Trout do love worms, okay? People have caught a stock trout and wild trout on night crawlers. All right, so there we go. We got a little, you know, worm, right? That has a fairly good action, okay? I can't show you, of course, because, you know, air density is different than water density, but you can have an idea of how this would look in the water, right? And if you're a bass angler, you should be very enticed by this lure already because even when you fish for trout, right? You could use four pound test line, okay? A small hook, right? If this is a little bit uh, too long for you, you could actually cut it a piece and hook it anyways and maybe drop shot for it, you know? Drop shot, free falling, okay? If you're not familiar with free falling, leaving it in the video above, you could actually free fall this beige as far as your tackle is finesse enough, okay? In other words, you know, four pounds test line, ultra light, right? So when this thing is falling in the water, the trout actually does not suspect that this is, you know, fake, not edible, right? So very cool stuff, okay? Pack of five for $3. Some people actually complain about Mystery Tackle Box because they say, oh man, Mystery Tackle Box give sample packs and stuff. You know, I see that all the time. Folks, I think that's a matter of opinion and taste, okay? Some people like full packs, some people like sample packs. I love sample packs, you know, in my box. Why do, do, why do I subscribe for these products, okay? I subscribe to these products because I like to go through the novelty of tackle exploration. 
and therefore I would prefer the company that I subscribe to to actually give me sample packs and use the money that they save from that to give me other lures so I have other lures to test if I get a full pack that comes with like 15 of those and I don't like it it's gonna be in my basement forever and I'm never gonna use it right if you give me a sample pack that has five and I really like it I go there and I actually support the company that made that right I purchase some extra all right third one third uh, lure here that came in the box actually terminal tackle bleeding bait is now bait holder but by Daichi okay 350 for a four pack I'm actually familiar with some of the Daichi products okay because I actually buy my micro hooks number 26 from Daichi they are usually made you know to tie flies and stuff okay it says here let's see perfect for securing hungry trout this hook has a bleeding bait look for a finish to add to your baits allure and as you guys know I do use snail hooks okay for my regular fishing but I usually use eagle claw right I like the fact that Daichi is using how do I how do I call this they are using very thin line okay I, you guys can't really see from here so let me open this thing up okay so I can give you guys a view I don't know what test line is here I don't know if it says here but the line seems to be extremely thin and when fishing for trout or other species of fish that are extra wary of their surroundings you do need your line to be extremely thin because they don't see it in the water or else you use fluorocarbon right because fluorocarbon as you guys know has an index of refraction that is very close to water yeah well that's like physics is speaking right in common in common words when you have an index of refraction of a material that is very close to the water things in the water cannot see that material so fluorocarbon in the water is invisible to fish I don't know what is the line that they used here let's see super clear fluorocarbon there you go so this is a good quality okay uh, definitely a good quality fluorocarbon you got here that is super thin okay with a size 8 hook smaller hooks this is exactly what we needed for the box is smaller hooks if you watch my previous video one of the biggest problems the hooks were too big and you know you, you know what with this right I can I can use it in so many different ways and one way of using this actually I could actually use this with power bait folks is now it right over here right maybe one snap swivel one split chop doesn't matter because now you have a liter fluorocarbon that is very thin and not visible put a little power bait on power bait floats about this distance in the water right we're talking about six inches man killer for trout I think I'm going to do a trout slam for this box since I like it so much we will see okay so there you go definitely something that I would like to use okay next one it's called the min o spin by Johnson on the value of 249 let's see here where are you Johnson I have gotten a few products from Johnson some of them I have tested some of them I have not you know this actually looks very enticing I would give it I would definitely give it a try okay it says here cast and retrieve or throw this proven inline spinner the small shiny fling body is great in lakes or rivers as you guys know my favorite inline spinner is the Thomas EP series inline spinner right one eighth of an ounce nickel gold I have caught plenty of trout on that spinner linking a video above however I don't mind trying new types of spinners although I am sponsored by Thomas yours but you know I don't really mind trying new the spinners right so let's open this up here and I'm gonna show you guys oh, this little spinner that looks very nice for trout definitely looks very nice okay I think I think mr. tackle box really nailed it for this month's box okay super niche and look at this oh my god man like I said, you know, it is one of those things that you really want to put this in your face and just be like, oh, you know, it's got a nice feeling to it. It's got a, and, and not to mention that, as you guys know, my favorite color is what? What is my favorite color? Aha, yeah, it is pink, right? Victoria's Secret should sponsor me, seriously. 
All right, there you go. Yeah, so when you, you, when you put it in the water, right, it just spins, right? Nice motion right there. Very nice. So yes, I'm changing my mind. I'm definitely doing a slam with this box here. April 2nd is trout opening day. We're gonna slam some trout on the stuff, folks. <clears throat> Next item in the box, trout magnet, nine piece pack. Buy trout magnet, 225 for a nine pack. Folks, you know me. You, if you know my channel, Extreme Fully Fishing, you know that I slay all different types of species on the trout magnet, okay? Although, recently, I have been using Euro Tackles mummified worms, mummy worms, right? Link in the video above. But trout magnets, they work just as good, okay? So it says here, rig these up even when the bite is stopped and you will have trout chasing your line. Perfect trout forage imitators that entice the big boys. And uh, one thing about this, right, I'm gonna show you guys, not only the trout magnet, but one thing that I really, really like about Leyland Lures, which is actually the company who produces the trout magnet, right? It, you know, is the creator of the brand, right? This is the trout magnet that has a little opening here on the side, right? You just hook the hook through here, right? And the hook comes through the opening and it has a little motion in the water that attracts fish. But what I like the most about the trout magnet is not so much the trout magnet, but the 164 ounce jig head that comes with it, right? And if you watch my videos, for God's sake, if you have been here on the channel for a while, you know that this is my jig head to go. I don't go with anything else. This is the jig head. 164 ounce trout magnet jig head. I usually jig it with a gold minnow, one inch or a trout magnet, or a mummy worm, but this is the jig head, okay? Highly recommended. In terms of a finesse jig head that catches you different types of fish, this is the one to go. There's no one else in the market right now that I would recommend other than this one, okay? And if you are a comp fishing company and you're watching this and you think that your jig head is better than this one, send me some samples, all right? I would test it and I would let you know, okay? But this one's definitely really, really good. Good quality, okay? And catches you fish. Plenty of videos on my YouTube channel about that. All right, and finally item, the final item in the box is the Easy Trout Float, also by Trout Magnet, on the value of 179 for a four pack, okay? Now, I have never used the trout magnet floats, not gonna lie to you. It says here, adjust the depth so your bait flows exactly where you want. Keep the slack out of your line when the float dips, set the hook, okay? I have never used these floats to tell the truth. However, I did hear that they work really well. So let's open it up. I'm gonna take one out, I want to check it out. You know, so we got here one of the floats, right? There you go. And you know, as always, here, we can take this out, right? And there's a little opening right here. I, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Put your line in the opening, right? Make sure you got everything correct. You can easily adjust one of these floats. Float is very small, so it's finesse. There's no weight to it. So when you cast it out and it splashes on the water, it actually doesn't spook the fish away, okay? Remember, we're fishing for trout, Trout are super, super wary, okay? You throw one of these on top of the water, right? This is made of a kind of styrofoam, right? Look, it goes on top of the water, doesn't make a sound. The trout doesn't get spooked, so it's very important. Combine this with one of those jig heads and the trout magnet, and I guarantee you, you're gonna slay trout. As a matter of fact, close to my house, a few years ago, a guy was using exactly the setup, okay, the easy, trout float together with the 164 ounce jig head with the trout magnet got this freaking three and a half pound golden rainbow trout which is the oncorin cosmicus mutation i'm not talking about the california golden rainbow trout right which is a sub species of the rainbow trout that is the oncorin cosmicus micus agua bonita i'm talking about the human made genetic modified golden rainbow trout that are stocked in Pennsylvania and in other states around the country, he caught a three and a half pound using this setup, you know? So when you see that small float go down, go down, you know, you really never know what's on the other side of it, right? Reminds me of that fishing quote by Robert Altman, right? He says, I love fishing 
when you put your line in the water, you never know what's on the other side. Your imagination is under there. This is the wonder of fishing. This is the wonder of multi-species fishing and multi-species fishing includes trout fishing, right? So overall, I am very satisfied with the box for this bunch. As always, little dibble digest, mystery tackle box sticker, and the match the hatch that I never win, right? But <laughs> there you go. So this is the box for this bunch. Let's see. We got here $13.99, $16.99. Let's just make it $17, $20, $50, $22, $25, $30, $35, $40, $45, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $